For most trips, airplane tickets are the most expensive part of your trip. Every day, airlines have thousands of amazing deals, from special promotions to cheap prices to compete with other airlines. Cheap tickets are out there and they can make your dream trip a reality if you know where to look. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to find and book cheap flights. So without further ado, let's get into it. So when it comes to finding the cheapest tickets, the first thing that comes to my mind is Google Flights. And I'm going to show you the secret tricks right now. So if you're new to Google Flights, just go to your search bar and enter Google Flights or go to google.com slash flights. Now on the left side, you'll have several options like hotels, vacation rentals, flights, things to do. But today we are gonna focus on the flight area. So when most people get to this page, they just enter the city they are flying from and the city they are flying to with specific dates they are looking for and just click on search as you can see here is an example of search results but there are a few things I want you to keep in mind on the right side of the screen there are two options date grid and price graph so if you want to just compare the exact date you're looking for with a day or two days earlier or later you can check out here and make sure that you have the cheapest price in that specific time frame but if you go to to the price graph you will see that Google flights show you the price for up to the next two months now this is gonna be useful when you're open to earlier or later dates up to a few weeks or two to three months we can also see the prices in hot seasons for example on January 4th this ticket costs more than $200 but on February 2nd it costs only $65 so it's a super useful feature here another quick tip for you guys is that as you can see on the left side you can check track prices which allows you to get email updates when prices change for your search date usually when it gets closer to your flight date the price goes down up to 40 or 50 percent so make sure to use this feature as well the last tip i want to share with you about google flights is that if you scroll down and click on the map it gives you a visual representation of pricing for you in different areas of the world here instead of selecting a specific country you have the option to select an area like europe or asia or south america for a specific date month or even for the next six months which is super useful all right the next booking website i want to share with you is skyscanner which is one of the best when it comes to the cheap flight tickets now for the purpose of this video i'm going to select from vancouver to cancun mexico here are the search results and as you can see sky scanner shows you the best cheapest and fastest prices in the middle of this page now same as the google flights you can click on get price alerts on the left side to get updates on your ticket price usually sky scanner offers one of the cheapest prices compared to the other booking websites but if you really want to save and you can click on show the whole month on the left side which enables you to quickly check and compare the prices of your ticket for the whole month here is the calendar view but if you want to make it easier just click on the chart and it gives you a better visual chart now there isn't much difference here it starts from 237 to 246 so it really doesn't matter which date you want to book for this specific flight now there are two other booking websites i want to share with you now i'm not going to dive into them right now just to let you know I search these two websites too when I want to book cheap flights this is kayak where you can get all kinds of services like tracking prices price alerts if you want to get airplane tickets cars hotels all kinds of services the last and the fourth booking website I want to share with you is Momondo they show you an overview of available travel options from other booking websites so they don't sell you directly they just show you the different prices of different websites which is super helpful as well so it was an overview of four booking websites google flights sky scanner kayak momondo but there are a few final tips i want to share with you tip number one is if you're a student or if you're someone under 26 there are many discounts available to you you can usually find prices 20 to 30 percent off the standard fare you can always ask your booking website in the chat section so don't overlook them because they're available to you tip number two 
two is to search ticket prices for individual travelers. Now, if you're traveling with friends or family, don't search for uh, multiple tickets in a single purchase. Now, airlines always show the highest ticket price in a group of tickets, which means you'll end up paying more money. For example, if you're a family of four and you're searching for four seats, the airline will show you the fare based on the highest ticket price. So if seat A is $200, B and C are $300, and seat D costs $400, it will price those tickets as $400 each instead of adding up the individual ticket price. For that reason, I always search for tickets as a single person to save a few hundred dollars. So keep that in mind. Tip number three is to look for tickets in other currencies. If your country's currency is strong compared to others, search airfare in a country where the currency is weaker. For example, when the US dollar was strong and the Canadian dollar was weak, first I found a one-way flight from Vancouver to Istanbul for 1,000 US dollars. And after I selected the Canadian dollars, it was about 900 to 950 Canadian dollars, which is almost 20 to 30 percent cheaper. Now it was the same airline, same flight, same booking class. It was just booked in a different currency. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below and don't forget to check the links in the descriptions. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.